Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will talk about a small country in Africa that has produced some of the most influential athletes of our time. Cameroon, a small country in Central Africa, is home to some of the world's most talented athletes. From football to UFC, the country has produced influential players in multiple sports. In this video, we will delve into the lives of Cameroon's most remarkable athletes, getting to know their backgrounds, struggles, and achievements. We will examine their journeys to success, the challenges they faced along the way, and the impact they have had on sports. By the end of this video, you will have a deeper appreciation for the incredible talent that Cameroon has contributed to the world of athletics. Samuel Eto'o is a Cameroonian football legend and is widely regarded as one of the greatest African footballers of all time. Born on March 10, 1981, in Douala, Cameroon, Eto'o grew up dreaming of playing professional football in Europe. Fortunately, he was a precocious talent and was already playing for one of the country's top junior sides, Kaji Sports Academy, by the age of 10. In 1992, Kaji Sport Academy traveled to Europe to test themselves against some of the best junior sides in France. At just 11 years old, Eto'o played extremely well and caught the attention of big European clubs. Real Madrid made the first move when Eto'o reached the age of 16 while he was playing for the Cameroonian national team. He signed with the team in 1997 but saw little playing time. Eto'o made a name for himself playing for Cameroon during the 2000 African Cup of Nations, where he scored four times, including a crucial goal in the team's victory over Nigeria. His impressive play continued at the 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney, where Cameroon defeated Spain in the final to win the gold medal. Eto'o left Real Madrid at the end of the 2003 to 2004 season. He went on to play for Barcelona, where he became a legend, Inter Milan, where he won the Champions League and Chelsea. A fast, strong, and energetic forward, Samuel was known for his stamina, work rate, ability in the air, and accurate finishing ability with both his head and feet. Eto'o retired from professional football in 2019, and in December 2021, he was elected as the president of the Cameroonian Football Federation. Next up, we have the reigning NBA MVP, Joel Embiid. Embiid was born on March 16, 1994, in Yaoundé, Cameroon, to military officer Thomas and his wife, Christine. In his childhood, he played volleyball and soccer and had originally planned to play professional volleyball in Europe. However, he started playing basketball at age 15, modeling his game after NBA Hall of Fame center Hakeem Olajuwon. Embiid was discovered at a basketball camp by Luke Mba Amot, a fellow native of Yaoundé and an NBA player. He transferred to Montverde Academy in Florida to pursue his dream of playing professional basketball and later moved to the Rock School to finish off his high school career. Embiid played one year of college basketball with the Kansas Jayhawks. He was selected as the third overall pick by the Philadelphia 76ers in the 2014 NBA Draft. However, his early professional career was plagued by injuries, leading many to question whether he would ever reach his potential. This is where the process began. After two years of recovery, Embiid officially started his NBA career in the 2016 to 2017 season. He quickly dispelled any doubts about his ability by averaging 20.2 points, 7.8 rebounds, and 2.5 blocks per game in his rookie season. In 2017, he signed a five-year, $148 million deal with the Philadelphia 76ers. Embiid is a modern NBA center who can excel in the post and spot up from the perimeter. Embiid has been named an NBA All-Star four times and has been selected for the All-NBA team twice. He was also named to the NBA All-Defensive Team in 2018 and 2019. In the previous season, Embiid was awarded the NBA's Most Valuable Player title. Next on our list of NBA All-Stars is Pascal Siakam, the champion from the Toronto Raptors. Siakam was born on April 2, 1994, in Douala, Cameroon, as the youngest of four brothers. His father, Chamo, worked for a local transit company and was also the mayor of the small city of Mackinac. At age 11, Pascal was enrolled in St. Andrew's Seminary, where he was handpicked to embody his family's Catholicism. However, by the time he was 15, he no longer wanted to become a Catholic priest. Siakam's basketball journey started in Douala, Cameroon, where he played for fun and attended the Lukamba Amut camp, just like Embiid. 
After catching someone's eye, he was invited to basketball without borders. Siakam played college basketball for the New Mexico State Aggies and was named the Western Athletic Conference Player of the Year in 2016. Siakam was selected by the Toronto Raptors with the 27th overall pick in the first round of the 2016 NBA Draft. He quickly became a key player for the Raptors and helped them win their first NBA championship in 2019. Siakam is a two-time NBA All-Star and a two-time All-NBA selection. His father, Chamo, passed away in a car accident in 2014, and Pascal wears the number 43 on his jersey in honor of his father, who was born in 1943. Siakam is a versatile forward who can play multiple positions and is known for his athleticism, defense, and ability to score from all over the court. Now let's shift from the basketball court to the UFC ring with the story of one of the most influential heavyweight fighters of our generation, Francis Ngannou. Francis was born on September 5th, 1986 in Batier, Cameroon. He grew up in poverty and received little education. At the age of 22, Francis began training in boxing despite his family's initial reluctance. After a year of training, Nganu stopped due to an illness and worked odd jobs to make ends meet. At the age of 26, he decided to pursue professional boxing in Paris, France. However, upon reaching Europe, he was jailed for two months in Spain for illegally crossing the border. When Nganu arrived in Paris, he had no money, friends, or place to live. Francis began his MMA career in November 2013 and mainly fought in the French promotion fight, as well as other regional promotions. Despite practicing the sport for less than four months, Nganou's coach deemed him ready to make his professional debut. Francis Nganou is a professional mixed martial artist known for his punching power and knockout ability. He competed in the heavyweight division of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC where he was the reigning UFC heavyweight champion at the time of his departure from the promotion. Currently, he is signed to the Professional Fighters League, PFL. In addition to his fighting career, Nganou founded the Francis Nganou Foundation, which aims to provide opportunities for the youth in Cameroon through sports, education, and community development. There you have it, massive athletes who share a common country, Cameroon. As you saw, the Kaji Sports Academy for football players and the Luke Mba Amout Camp for NBA players have played a massive role in shaping the careers of multiple talents. The willingness of these top athletes to give back to their community has helped more young Cameroonians find success. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you learned something new.